And so uh, my favorite sports season is upon us. I love college football. I've watched it since I was a little boy. And as I've seen the season unfold before us, I'm reminded about the goal of every huddle that takes place uh, whenever the teams are on the field. The goal of the huddles just to give uh, the team 30 seconds to gather themselves and understand what's going to be the next play. I've heard complaints all of my life about the referees and how the game is shifted by a couple of bad calls, but I'll tell you what I've never heard. I've never heard one fan say, I just hate those uh, huddles. That 30 seconds they take, uh, they could be out there doing something else. I never heard a complaint because everyone understands this. The 60 to 100,000 fans that'll gather for a good college game, they just know it's a very natural part of the game. Now, I also understand this in my listening audience today, that there's some non-sports fans. And you may or may not know this, but we uh, fans don't pay big dollar so that we can watch a team huddle. Have you ever thought about that? We pay big bucks so that we can see our favorite team lay the wood to them on defense and score as many points as possible. Have you ever thought about this, how much the church loves our huddles? We talk a lot about our huddles that take place on Thursday evenings and Sunday mornings, and the conversation goes something like this. My quarterback can call better plays than your quarterback, and oh my goodness, do they? we go nuts about our huddles that we have, and one of the things that I'm reminded of, for many, many years, the local church has based its identity and success upon how well we huddle, how well the worship goes that morning, how well the teaching goes that particular day, and the entire success of the church is warranted on basically the weekend experience, how we huddle. I want you to know if the church's identity is simply on the teaching and on the style of worship, we have failed God's mission.